Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can restore either a file or a page from the recycle bin within SharePoint Online. So first off, let's talk about how do we restore a document um, from a document library within our SharePoint site. Um, so let's take a look. So I'm in my document library. Um, and actually, it's worth mentioning as well that this same method would work from Microsoft Teams as well. Um, however, first, if you were in Microsoft Teams and you accidentally deleted the file, you would need to go into um, the extra options inside of Microsoft Teams uh, across the top of your, your uh, files uh, and select Open in SharePoint, which would basically bring you to this type of interface anyway, which would take you to the document library for that particular Microsoft team. So starting off from this point, this is where you can see um, your documents. I'm going to delete, for example, this um, health and safety at work document. Um, it does actually ask you as well, uh, are you sure you want to send this item to recycle bins? This is your first clue that the document isn't just disappearing forever. It is actually going to a recycle bin. So um, when you get rid of it here, it will then say, yep, it's then deleted and the document is gone. Now, to get to the recycle bin, what we need to do is click on the cog across the top right-hand corner of SharePoint, and when this menu appears, we're going to click on the Site Contents button here. As a Site Contents is basically the back end of a SharePoint site, which is going to list all the different contents that that SharePoint site contains. Um, so this is where we can see all the different document libraries, page libraries, things like that. And then you can see across the top right hand corner here, we've got recycle bin. Now, I wouldn't always trust this number that's next to it. So this is a little top tip. It, it gives you a bit of an idea that there is, there is things in the recycle bin. Um, but sometimes I've seen people lean too much on that and assume that um, that they've deleted some content and um, that actually this says zero and they've missed out on the fact that actually the content is in the recycle bin. It's always worth going and checking to see if it is in the recycle bin. So once you're in here, so this is the recycle bin. So this is where you can see all the content that's been uh, recently deleted from this SharePoint site. It's worth mentioning that recycle bins are uh, specific to a SharePoint site. So each SharePoint site has its own recycle bin. So if you're looking for content that's been deleted, you need to look at the, the content of the recycle bin on that site and not of um, uh, the overarching kind of hub site, for example. So I've seen my document here and I can see the type of file uh, it is with the icon. I can see the name of the document and when it was deleted. I can see who it was deleted by and who it originally was created by also, if I was to restore it, where is it going back to? So this is the URL of my site that I deleted the document from, and that's where it's going back to. Um, so it's also worth mentioning um, that, well, how long does a document stay in the recycle bin for? So officially, Microsoft say that they will hold a document inside the recycle bin for up to 93 days. So roughly, and this sometimes changes a little bit, but roughly it will stay within this area for around 30 days um, unless uh, someone was to automatically delete it or restore it. Um, now, if it was uh, deleted from here as well, what ends up happening is it will say, um, are you sure you want to delete this item uh, from the recycle bin and you remove it? But that isn't, again, the end of the line for the document. There is another area down here, um, which is second stage recycle bin. Now, if you were to click on that, that takes you to this next second stage recycle bin, but that is the end of the line. And again, roughly in total, it stays for about 93 days. So I think it's somewhere thereabouts, about 30 days in the first area, maybe um, 30 um, to sort of 60 days uh, in the secondary area. Uh, and then once it's gone, it is then gone. Um, so you would then be looking at trying to get this document back from a backup tool. So if you're, I'm not going to name a load of the tools, but there's plenty of tools out there on the market for backing up um, your SharePoint and OneDrive 
um, and teams related data so if it was a case that it was gone from the second stage recycle bin you would need to uh, essentially speak with your IT department or your third party IT um, support provider to look at using um, the backup tool that you've already got set up to uh, restore that document back but as I say if you don't have a backup tool then that document is actually gone from that point in time it's nice and easy to restore the document from either the first or second stage recycle bin by clicking on the tick and then clicking on restore. Now, if you are restoring from a second stage recycle bin, it will put it back to its original location. It doesn't sort of move it back to the first stage recycle bin. It will go back to that document library. So now if I click on the cog, I go back to site contents and I go back to my documents library in here, um, we'll then see that my uh, document library uh, sorry, my document has now reappeared within the document library it was originally created in. So we're roughly about halfway through the video. Um, so again, please do subscribe to this channel. It really does help um, uh, me and my content and my channel grow out into the future. Um, if you like this particular video, um, please do like, um, leave me a comment below. I try to respond to everybody's comments and questions. Um, so if you do have any thoughts or questions about this, please use the comment feed below. So next we're going to talk about restoring a page. It's a very similar process, um, but it's actually worth calling this out because a lot of people aren't necessarily aware that they can do this with pages. They think that it might just be for documents. So I wanted to include a section about this just so you're aware that it works with both uh, documents and pages as well. So back in my SharePoint site, if I was to go to say site pages and uh, I'll find, for example, I've got a page here called events calendar. If I deleted it from this library, you can see it's exactly the same as the document library where you can ask me, are you sure? Before it sends it to the recycle bin, it then deletes it, sends it to the recycle bin. And then when I go to site contents, go to recycle bin, uh, there it is, there's my page. Um, and again, I can see when it was deleted, who deleted it, who originally created it, and where, if I restore it, it will then go back to where it was created. Again, um, it would sit here for around about 30 days before it automatically went to the second stage recycle bin, unless I was delete it and force it there myself. Um, and essentially, it works in exactly the same way as if I was to delete a document. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, um, enable that um, alerts feature so that you can get notifications uh, for weekly content which comes out all about SharePoint and Microsoft 365 apps. Um, if you've got any questions, use the comments feed below, let me know. I do my best to try and answer everybody's questions and help them out if they're stuck using Microsoft 365 products. Um, so, yep, yeah, use the comments feed below um, and look out for future content coming soon.